But first, let's just bring you something we had uh, this past week we were in conversation with, uh, of course, a son to a legendary Zambian striker. Unfortunately, he answered the call of the Lord. His name is uh, or was Dennis Slaughter. He was nicknamed Chesan Palmer. Of course, we know that his son is actually playing club football in South Africa. Mike Lauter was in conversation with Zambia's Premier Analysis Show. Let's take a look at what he had to say. Hello, my name is Mike Lotta, 22 years old, and I currently play for Highlands Park. Um, my passion for football is uh, heavily influenced by my father, you know, the late Dennis Lotta, because at a very young age he made sure I was involved in football, you know. Um, every time I had like a, a free time, he'd make sure we do extra training. He taught me to play every position, defensive positions, attacking positions, because he knew it helped me later on in my career. Um, he had a lot of plans for me, but unfortunately he passed away. So things got a bit hectic because I was left on my own, you know, uh, with no one to help, uh, um, like, you know, on the side to pursue my career. But I know that, you know, in time things will get better, but... His influence on me um, was very heavy, and without his influence, I, I don't think I'd be where I am right now. I'm not where I want to be yet, but I know uh, greater things are coming. Basically, it's safe to say that, you know, uh, he had a, a great influence in my uh, passion for football, because I'm very passionate, everyone knows. Uh, like, everyone that knows me knows how passionate I am about football. You know, I always try to do extra work on the side, whether it's a day off or whether we have a double session, I always make sure I, I do extra training, you know. I, I love being with the soccer ball and everything. So his influence was, was very great on me. And I have the option to play for South Africa or Zambia. And I've been wanting to play for Zambia for a very long time, but I didn't know how to go about it. And, well, with my father, he, he really wanted me to focus on schooling first. So... He made sure I first got good grades and, you know, matriculated before uh, we could plan, you know, pursuing the international scene. But, as I said, unfortunately passed away. So all our plans, you know, just went down the drain. So I had to start afresh. But I'm very keen in playing for Zambia, you know. I've been watching all their qualifiers. The team is doing well. The under-20s winning the, the, the AFCON. It's, it's just a great time for Zambia right now. The the from the junior setup to the senior team, they're doing well. The fighting spirit, the hunger. I'm, I just love that about the team. Uh, everyone works for each other. They 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 die on the field for each other, and that's a team I'd love to play for. You know, and I, it would be a great honor to you know to represent the, the the colors of Zambia. You know, make my father proud. And, you know, hopefully achieve what he's achieved on the international scene. It would be amazing. One thing that my father taught me, you know, uh, is that you should put hard work uh, above everything. You know, don't try to use your background or who you, you know or who your parents is, you know. So every trial I went to, I'd never say, I'm the son of Dennis Lotter, you know, just to get ahead. I'd always go there, you know, I won't even mention my uh, surname. The coaches would usually find out after, you know, I've made the trials or or something. Because even at Highlands Park, they didn't know me. You know, I went to trial. I made the trial. Then only after I was signing, they saw my surname is Lotta, you know. And they even were surprised. They're like, oh, you're the son of the late Dennis Lotta. I was like, yes. But I don't use that, you know, as leverage, you know, to, you know, get ahead or try get favors done for me. I like working for, for what I want, you know. Um, I don't like things easy because my father taught me easy things you know go easily also so it's rather you work hard for it and it stays longer um life at highlands right now is a bit hectic because uh last season we we're in the uh, the mdc which is the multi-choice disky challenge the psl reserve league so only teams in the psl are allowed to have the reserve teams playing this league so we did well in our first season there we finished third had good performances um I played a few positions in the league. I played center mid, I played center back uh, and right back. I had good performances. I had a goal against Baroka FC. Um, and it's a bit hectic now because now that our first team got relegated to the second division, 
uh, of South African football, uh, we do not qualify to play in the league anymore. So it left us uh, all, not, you know, not part of the, the plans for the for the season because now they had to get experienced players because they're trying to bounce back. So we left playing um, like in the amateur league to try promote their team up. So it's a bit hectic right now, but um, it's football, you know. Sometimes things come. Sometimes you have to step, uh, take a step back to take two steps forward. So that's the situation right now. Did you see the striking resemblance? Well, may your soul rest in peace, but your legacy probably lives on uh, in Mike. Uh, I'm sure you'll be proud to see what your son is turning out to be.